This time, on Derailed, we're talking about Jessica Chobot, a.k.a. <laughs> Diana Allers. Wow. Uh, games personality, Jessica Chobot. I'm sorry, don't you mean journalist? Do I? Okay, well, go on. Uh, she's a character in Mass Effect 3. She's playing a reporter. <laughs> she is a, a journalist in Mass Effect right, 3, right. Diana Allers. Uh, her, she's lending her voice and likeness to the character, but she also did a preview of Mass Effect 3 for G4 TV. Does this bother you? She's like, oh, the game is terrible, but there's this one character, this one ancillary character, this journalist here. I wish we'd saw more of that. I didn't know? watch the preview, but I, I, I don't know if she said that. I, I bet what she said was that it was fantastic and it was the best game ever mm -hmm. made. Does this bother you, Rob? No, because I don't feel like those sort of previews are hard journalism anyway. Yeah. They're, they're basically regurgitated PR. Um, I don't know if this is the same video I saw. I saw a video of her demoing the Kinect features, similar to the video that we showed a couple of weeks ago, and it felt exactly like those actors being like, "This is great. You can say this." There was nothing critical about it. There's nothing. So like that, the idea of like, "Oh, is is she biased because she's in the game?" I don't know, but I know she's biased because it's it's like PR anyway. Like so, that doesn't bug me. What bugs me is. Is she a good actor? Yeah. Well, that's that. Okay. That honestly, that is what bothers me as much too. It's not that she's casting. I, I, I gave up on her as a journalist a while ago. I still haven't given up on Mass Effect Three as a game with good voice actors, good intentions of bringing characters that mean a lot to the story, as opposed to just throwing people a bone so that you can get a good review. Like that worries me. I'm, I'm not mad I, at I, Jessica. I, I'm mad at Mass Effect. 3. I, I don't think, I don't think that's why they did it. At all right. Well, all. I, I hope mean, not. like that, the work that would go into putting her in as a character just for a good review for, for a critically, uh, okay. critically, you know, high rated game already. That's yeah. already gonna get a good score. Fair um, enough. But I still question their intentions. You know. And yeah. It makes I don't you, think we can assume that though. I mean, you, we have what, to. Gonna get we have score? to look at the game first before we can really pass sure. any judgment on it. But the past. Two games from right. the same developer have done pretty well. However, that didn't help Dragon Age. But I don't think I don't think it's enough of a worry that they would go through the costs involved to get people. And then why just her? Like why IGN specifically? Why isn't you know uh, Chris Grant in it? Why isn't you know Brian Crescente in it? Like you could have gotten a whole bunch of journalists. <laughs> Maybe in that's there what Mass worried. Effect Four will be. That'll uh, be great, won't it? It's just going to be journalists. It's going to be nothing but well. You know, it bothers me. I really like the idea of. Bringing actors in, using their literal likeness, and, and bringing more of an, a theatrical and, and cinema-like right. feel to a game. I like that. But then, this just feels really advertise-y. It, it, almost, a, it almost feels like, you know, you're going to see um, Martin Sheen sitting at his desk, and it's Martin Sheen, you're like, wow, that looks so much like Martin Sheen. And then he's like, oh, that cool, refreshing taste of Dr. Pepper, and he just drinks it down. And you're like, wow, that looks just like a Dr. Pepper can. I just don't, I don't like the idea of other intentions, these other intentions beyond wow what a great actress you know she looks good and she's gonna bring her character will be a good For character the know, story. she could be a good actress and well, maybe, we haven't like, seen it yet. Right. Right. like I mean, I'm I'll give her the benefit of the doubt there I'm not like worried about this um, but I also I'm not like I'm like oh my gosh Jessica Chobot now I'll buy the game you know it doesn't I, it, it means nothing it leaves to me. a bad taste in my mouth it definitely makes me think like does it taste like PSP <laughs> uh, no it doesn't taste like PSP because I don't know what that tastes like because I would never you know, steep so low as to lick a PSP. Mm. Just wouldn't do that. Mm. Oh, but who would? Mm. Uh, and another thing, um, speaking of licking, she's romanceable, right, her character? She is, by, I hear both, so... both by male and by female, Shepard. That's so twisted, like, I, okay, I, that speaks so much to her, her uh, willingness to be in this, like, I would never do that. I, if someone asked me, like, do you want to be in a video, I'm like, yeah. You want to be in a video game it's where, within like, the role, where neckbeards the country over can sleep with you? I don't think I'm going to go with that. Bioware comes to you and says, Rob, do you want to be Rob the Great yes. in Mass Effect 4? I don't 4. know what the question is, but yeah. <laughs> okay. like, Bioware comes to me, yes. Hey, um, uh, we wanted to... Yes, uh, would, would you, Yes, you still there? Would you feel the need to have to recuse yourself from doing a review or a preview or covering the game because of any conflict mm. of interest? That's a really tough question. I... No. Do you know why? Because I think in the case with Jessica Chobot, she's not, she is not a Bioware employee. She is not in this for game after game. It's like it was a, it was a cameo. Like, what does she stand to lose if she comes out with a review and goes, well, this game sucks? Like, what, she's not going to be in future Mass Effects? Like, if that's she's not a romanceable character, she's probably fairly major. Possible. Yeah. But I mean, like, I agree. unless this is the, the career path she's trying to go down, mm -hmm. if, as long as there is, she has nothing to lose in the sense of, well, if you 
burn bridges over the, a bad review, you still, that's your career is to review games, then, you know, I, uh, I wouldn't stop myself from reading a review by her over the game. Hmm. And I wouldn't question it. It's what, what really, like, kind of throws me off is, like, there are all the, there's all this talk about, you know, is it going to lead to a biased review for a game that I just don't think is going to need it. And I know that's speculation, but based on the first two games, like, I could see this being a much hotter topic over, like, the next Kane and Lynch, because that has a very rocky past, and that's a game where you don't know the quality when you're going into it. Whereas, like, a Bioware game like that, I... I don't see why they would need that. I think it's just more weird to it me is, than it's suspicious. It bothers me as a gimmick, mm. not as like a plot or right. some evil like conspiracy. I just think it's silly. So mm. Bioware comes to you and says, Ben, do you want to be in Mass Effect 4? And I would say, yes, here's my contract. It's strict no nudity. Uh, I can be romance. No animals, I can no children. I can be romance, but I am literally the hardest character to be romance. You have to <laughs> wine and dine me. Like, to the point where players are like, screw it, I'm just going to have sex with Jessica Chopa. <laughs> well, let us know if you're willing to put in the work to romance Ben uh, in the comments. Uh, and let us know also if this thing bothers you and what you think about their opinions. And we'll see you next time on Derailed. What? Hell yeah, I am. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I, I said she's a gimmick. Not that she's not super sexy.